Hello, this is Mark from Productive Computing. Thanks for joining me on this video. Today we're talking about getting started with APIs, specifically if you are a FileMaker developer working with the Claris platform. What I want to do in this video is show you some resources if you are brand new to this particular technology and you want to get started, you don't necessarily know exactly how. The first thing I want to do is show you what we have to offer at Productive Computing University because we do put a lot of focus and emphasis on learning APIs as it relates to FileMaker and the world of Claris. So join me at ProductiveComputingUniversity.com and go and look at all the courses and then filter for API. And what you'll see here is a method by which you can get started and fulfill some of those commonplace needs in the world of APIs. For example, the first thing you want to do is consider this course called API Fundamentals for FileMaker Developers. This assumes that you are a basic or intermediate FileMaker developer or even an advanced developer, and you've never actually worked with an API whatsoever. You barely even know what they are, what they do, what the advantages are. And maybe you know some of the advantages, but you're not exactly sure even where to begin. This particular course, it's 20 lessons, and you'll be able to get started right away really from ground zero. And by the end of it, you will have a firm understanding of how to talk back and forth with FileMaker's Data API. We actually show you how to set up a FileMaker file, have it prepared with FileMaker Server as a data source, and then you can talk from FileMaker to FileMaker, in a sense, using the FileMaker Data API methodology. You'll learn and understand a little bit about JSON and how that's used. You'll learn about insert from URL, which is the script step necessary to get the ball rolling. You'll learn about token management and all the other components, the basic components of working with any API. We figured we'd start with the data API since that makes the most sense. And at that point, you'll have a firm understanding of just about any other API that you work with going forward. But no two APIs are the same. There's nothing more sure in this world than that. Every API has their own personality, their own rules and restrictions, their own management, and certainly their own documentation, which, by the way, no two API documentations or qualities of those documentations are created equal either. As a result, we figured we'd take some other popular APIs, such as the DocuSign API. We show you and have a course for that if you're working with DocuSign. Now, when it comes to the DocuSign course, we present towards the end of the course a use case which has been requested by several customers, whereby they want to create a PDF from FileMaker and have that PDF used as the official signed document. We show you how to insert a signature at a certain location and bundle all that as an API request, therefore automating the signature process directly from a PDF and a contract from FileMaker. We have another course here for MailChimp, which allows you to connect to the MailChimp API. This mostly focuses around subscription management. So let's say you have a contact in FileMaker and you want to move that contact over to MailChimp at the same time. We can show you how to construct that and we can show you how to tag them as a subscriber or non-subscriber and all the basics for MailChimp integration. Then we have a course here for Stripe, which is a very popular payment platform these days. And if you want to learn how to push payments to Stripe or take payments via FileMaker or create an invoice and send that, Stripe has a very strong API and there's a lot that you can do with that. And this course gets you started. We also have a course for charting, which by itself is not necessarily an API related course. But within the charting course, we do discuss the Tableau API and working with that. Technically speaking, you could take the API Fundamentals course and really have a firm foundation for going forward on any particular API that you connect to. Now, like I mentioned before, no two APIs are the same. And some APIs, particularly the Google one or Amazon's APIs, they're particularly more on the difficult side of things. So your mileage may vary, which is why having a course to go along with a particular API is always an advantage. We don't have every single API course created here, but we do have some of the popular ones. Now, besides the university, you can also check out a recent DevCon presentation I gave called How to Understand the Basics of APIs. In this presentation, I take you from A to Z on understanding what APIs are. We discuss security and we bring it down to a level using analogies such as restaurants, waiters, and kitchens to make it all simpler to understand. 
And we created a blog article based on that presentation where you can find links to other resources. And it's an easy summarized overview of what APIs are if you want to do some light reading to get started. Now we'll put some links down below the video here where you can check out these starting resources. So I just want to introduce you to the fact that these resources are available for you, especially if you're new to all this and you want to fast track your way into learning it by seeing someone else go through the process. So if you want to learn more, you can simply go to ProductiveComputingUniversity.com to check these courses out. You can also send us an email at sales at ProductiveComputing.com to find out more about how we can help you connect to whatever API you're looking to connect to with FileMaker. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.